Hey Peter, this is Trevor. Um, I've got my, court, my car torn apart. I've got some of the stuff right here. Um, these were the door panel switches that you sent me. And I believe these are just stock like O2 um, door panel switches. I was looking for like O5 um, WRX or STI panels, I believe. And then you'd also sent me this little bracket. Um, I think this bracket is something involved with the radio portion of the dash. I'm not positive yet. Um, everything else in here is basically um, stuff that came out of my car that's going to go back in minus minus this piece and, and this piece. But let me run outside real quick. I'll, I'll be right back. Alright, Peter, here's the WRX. So I've got this new harness most of the way swapped in. Everything's everything's bolting up except for like um, you know the the headlight um, plugs were broken um, I don't need those right now I'm gonna cut these off and use the old ones but I was gonna cut this front end off and put on like a, a blob eye front end so those would have been kinda handy to have um, but not a problem that I'm having right now one of the things I'm working with right now is you sent me the um, the ABS pump and the the plug's going to work but the, the brake lines are in a different spot. Those are kind of in a four pattern and these are in a straight line. They've got two that go in on the side there and then they don't go in on the side but they go in on the, the back on this one. So I'm not certain or super positive on how to, uh, to take care of that little issue. Let me get inside the car. Um, one thing I noticed I'm missing is basically this piece from the um, the 05 center console upgrade that you had sent me. I have <clears throat> um, a lot of the other parts, but I don't have the center dash surround. You can see right now I'm getting all this stuff wired up. Um, so with this wiring harness, I guess fortunately you had sent me the 05 um, excuse me, that's the wrong box in my hand. Um, but the uh, you had sent me the 05 cruise control box or keyless entry box. Um, you can see it says keyless entry in it. They look the same, but the plugs are just a little different. This is my O2 box, so I can't use it. So my my keyless entry is not going to work. Um, but I do have this plugged in. So if that's something that like the dealership can program or something that's going to be perfect and then the, one of the only things that's confusing me is I've got this little plug it comes from right back here right off the main harness okay and it basically comes right off next to this this zip tie connector it comes off right there and it's a it looks like it's a uh, a black wire and then it's also a uh, a red wire with a, a yellow stripe so I'm not certain what this goes to kinda lost on that um, but everything else pretty much bolted right back up um, these two I'm assuming one is for fog lights the other one I'm not certain what it's for in my WRX originally it was for cruise control um, but I believe that I'm going to need um, like an 05 clock spring because let me see if I can get down in here on the wiring like this came off the the harness that you gave me and it all plugged in and connected but I have this extra wire coming off my clock spring that doesn't plug to anything and I believe this is for like the horn so I need to get like an 05 clock spring to make everything wire up under here and then man I can start getting this uh this mess of a car back together. Now I had a question. Right here, this plug <coughs> says, um, so basically, this is my security unit, and it used to, it used to bolt in right here, and then it uh, it plugged right in. But the problem is, once I put in this STI e brake, that basically the e brake is now in the way of me bolting this thing up so I'm wondering if this goes someplace different now or if there's like a different metal mount that I need in order to secure that here 
Um, and then once I get these things figured out, I can I can actually get this car put back together. Um, it's my only car at the moment, so I would like to get this thing running as soon as possible. Now, I left my O2 airbag box in. Um, let me know if I need to use that O5 box that you sent me, because I do have a few connectors still setting on the outside um, over here. I do have the, um, you had sent me the security unit box with that harness, but I don't know if it's supposed to go someplace different because there's no mount on it like the other one. Um, that was the cruise control assembly and that was the integrated module that you had sent me. And then here's that airbag, so if I need to use that airbag, I've got it. I just need to throw it back in the car. Um, you can see my door panels are still in, my stock door panels. So those window um, controls that I had sent you, those are the ones that you had sent me. I'm not trying to pull some wool over your eyes or anything, but man, everything's going back together real smooth and real easy. It's just a couple of these questions that I had as far as like the, um, the brake lines, the keyless entry box, the security system, uh, the clock spring, and then as far as putting um, putting all this back in, I am missing a couple of those pieces to finish out the radio. Um, I'm also going to need to order... Um, oh, hold up. Before I forget, one other thing that I didn't get with that harness was the the rear door harnesses. I've got the stock harnesses in there right now, um, <clears throat> but they, there's plugs basically behind this piece or behind that piece right there, and they don't plug up, so I do need to get rear door harnesses. Um, but other than that, man, I'm cooking with gas. If um, you want to uh, send me a message and let me know what was supposed to be included with that kit and what wasn't, um, I would appreciate it that way I can get this finished. I'd also like to know where to drill the hole for the sensor that goes up into the dash for like, I think it's called a sun load sensor. I'm not certain where it goes in my dash because there's no hole for it. I'm assuming I just need to uh, drill a hole or maybe it even goes right there. Um, I'm just not quite positive. These are some of the problems I'm having. Like I've got this new e-brake in. Um, but it doesn't lock into place for some reason. So I'm assuming I either need to adjust this or switch something out, something like that. If you could let me know, I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and then if you have any questions, I can make another quick video. Thanks.